six. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. The pass. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle to Smith. The pass. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. A gain of four. It's now They'll go again to Jones. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Brings up third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now Jones. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Aaron Jones, the ball. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They go play action with Jackson. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, the first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? First down, it's Jones. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's Jackson to throw. 
And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear if they want to close this gap. They're on 32-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. The ball carrier. He was tackled at the 46-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a second down and six. They're going to look to throw. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 43. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. A run for Nick Chubb. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Chubb. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now left side on the swing pass. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion. But he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. They'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. And he's going to be brought down. He needed to get to the 20. But he's a yard or two short. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse 
in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick here is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. It's the score, Browns 33, Ravens 16. So with that, you figure now this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? At their own 24-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 24. He'll throw from the gun. Open man is Duvernay. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. From the gun, Jackson gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. Jackson's pass. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 43-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. had to throw the football unfortunately there's the risk of big turnover and you know you're going to be throwing against nickel dime all sorts of exotic defenses but you have to do it anyway ordinarily you might want to run the football a little bit try and get them out of it but as you noted this time of the game this point on the clock had to throw it handoff comes to chubb and able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. Back to throw. He'll buy some time. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of four yards. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number. and We can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. The Browns on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third down and 12. On the ground, it's Chubb. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Chubb, the ball carrier. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Browns 36, Ravens 16. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. At their own 23-yard line. 
Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Jackson, We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson looking left side and he's got a man. That's Jones. Jackson's pass. It'll be a two-yard gain. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. Marquise. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Second and 10 at the 35-yard line to throw again. Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Ed Oliver, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. From the gun, it's Jackson. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed a push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. A give. This is Chubb. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. 24, Nick Chubb, the ball. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And again, it's Chubb. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
11 yards there, first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the Browns are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. His pass caught at the four. The pass. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, they opted not to run it. They completed the pass on third and two, but they lost yardage to bring up four. Well, give credit to the guys on the other side of the ball. They snuffed out the play. But it does bring into question, one, the play call, because they didn't run the ball there. They could have run it. And two, just not getting it. That's got to be deflating for them. Well, it's hard to put your finger on whether this is something to celebrate or something maybe the offense is embarrassed by, but that's now six field goals he's made in this game alone. Yeah, he's bailed him out quite a bit so far, but it's very comforting to know that you have a kicker that's got your back. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Lamar Jackson sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, quick slant to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Oh, there's that man again, it's complete. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. He's out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Jackson. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45 yard line. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. After that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. From the gun, 
Jackson. And he's going to go down again. Lamar Jackson. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? He's going to let it go here for Hillman. And this will be caught at the 30. And he will be taken down, but a big play there as it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Play action. Now Jackson. He's going to go up top for the end zone. I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been in the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. A gain of three, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. They run it again with Chubb. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Chubb, the ball carrier. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. A gain of four. And it's third down. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for Cleveland. Stuff that they could look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for the Browns, the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, the struggles intensify as they drop to two and six now on the year. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.